Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are experiencing issues while trying to open and launch the Microsoft Store on both Windows 10 and Windows 11, then just to let you know that Microsoft has actually got a guide online on how to fix these problems. If you're experiencing, try that again, or error 0x8013150. So just a quick video to take you through the steps that Microsoft has recommended if you are seeing these errors when trying to launch and open the Microsoft Store on both operating systems. Now the first thing that Microsoft suggests is you need to reset the Microsoft Store app. So on Windows 10 and Windows 11 it's a very similar process. Head to your settings, if you don't know where that is, just do a search for settings. And you'd head onto your system page and into your system page. And right near the bottom, you'll see system components. And here you'll see the Microsoft Store. Click on the three dotted menu, advanced options, and you would head down and click on reset. Now it says, if this system component still isn't working right, reset it. The system components data will be deleted. So you may have to re-sign into the Microsoft Store and so on. But um, this is the first point to call to actually reset the Microsoft Store. So if that doesn't fix the issue, then obviously this, these are comp compounded steps we are working on. So then you can move on to the next thing or you can try all of these steps in this video. So what you can do next is head into your Windows Updates, your Windows Update page, and just check that your, um, your system is fully updated. And then after that, once you've updated your system to all the latest updates, head into the Microsoft Store and check that the Microsoft Store is up to date by clicking on Check for Updates. So just make sure that your Windows operating system and the Microsoft Store are, are up to date. And then if you are running Windows 10, this will only apply to Windows 10, you can run the Store Troubleshooter. And how you would do that on Windows 10 is head into your settings, click on Update and Security, and then to the left-hand side, you'll see a troubleshoot in the left-hand navigation menu for Windows Update. Click on that. You'll see additional troubleshooters, and then you would choose um, the Microsoft Store troubleshooter from the additional troubleshooters page on Windows 10. And then as a last resort, you need to update your internet TLS settings. And just in case you're unaware, TLS refers to Transport Layer Security and is a protocol that secures communications over the internet. So that's more or less what that is all about. So how you would do this is, I would just suggest in both operating systems, is to do a search for Control Panel. Which is a legacy aspect of both operating systems. And if you have category view enabled, to make it easier, I would just enable large icons. Then what you would do is head over to Internet Options and click on the Advanced tab. And yeah, you would scroll down to where you see Security. So you'll get to the Security option. And yeah, you'll see a couple of TLS settings here near the bottom of the scroll menu. So what you need to do in this section is you need to ensure that use TLS 1 and use TLS 1.1 are unchecked. And you need to ensure that you use TLS 1.2 and TLS 1.3, that both of those are checked as in my example. And those, by the way, as far as I know, are checked by default. Uh, in the operating system, but just as a last resort, just in case those settings could have been changed. So you need to use TLS 1.2 and TLS 1.3 over and above those other steps that I've mentioned in this video. And that's according to Microsoft, how you can resolve the error as mentioned at the beginning of this video, the try that again, error 0x8013150, if you're getting that error when you are launching and opening up the Microsoft Store. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.